I'm Courtney. We're a family of five trying to grow as much of our own food as we can, and we raise chickens. Our kids wanted to name our little backyard farm, so we did. It's called Heart Pine Farms. It's the end of July, and we're starting to get ready to plant some fall crops in some of our raised beds out here. Actually, here's one more zucchini that we can use for zucchini enchiladas or zucchini bread. So I'm gonna set this aside here. Let's see, you can see these little, there's some little ones coming on right here, but we're just still far better off carrying these plants out and moving on with this bed here. make sure that we remove as much debris from the plants as we can. And then we're going to let our chickens forage in here. Because they love to forage around and eat bugs and they can eat as many pesky bugs as well, they Well, there's tons like of here. squash bugs in here. Yeah. So they would love that. Squash bugs, they can go after those. They love to eat squash bugs. Before we plant every single thing in our raised beds, we always add compost to the top of the soil and very lightly work it in. We'll talk in future videos about our soil and compost and how to get started with that. But for now, we just wanted to mention that it's an important part of our routine to keep our soil healthy. We've seen through experience that healthy soil means healthy plants. It's mid-August and we've harvested most of our summer crops, so we're going to be planting fall crops to extend our growing season. The first thing to do if you're thinking about planting fall crops is figure out what your first frost date is and then count backwards the number of days to maturity for the crops that you're going to be planting. We always add a couple of weeks to that because when the days get shorter, it takes longer for the crops to fully mature. We're going to be planting carrots in these three raised beds right here. We grow Danvers carrots because they grow well in raised beds and they're also good for canning. We like to can our carrots so that we can enjoy them throughout the winter. Now there's a trellis right here with beans growing on it and we're just going to let these pole beans go until they're done producing and they're just going to grow right alongside the carrots until they're done. We use boards to plant and germinate our carrot seeds. You'll see why this is so successful in a minute. We're planting our third bed of carrots here and we're just setting the boards down like this so that we can see where our rows are going to be. If you press into the board a little bit, you can see where the row is going to be. There's one. We're going to do four rows. We take the boards off so we can see where our rows will be and start planting the seeds. We drop a few seeds on top of the soil every three inches. We lightly press the seeds into the soil and cover them with soil very lightly. Carrot seeds don't need to be any deeper than a quarter of an inch. You can see that we're only planting a few seeds every few inches instead of sprinkling lots of seeds over the whole row. Since we're using this special way of starting the seeds with boards, our germination rate is better so we don't need to use as many seeds. Three beds of Danvers carrots planted. Now I'm just going to water these seeds in and then put the boards back on the rows. 
And we're gonna check every couple of days for germination because once the seedlings are starting to grow, that's when we can remove the board so that they can receive sunlight. We just planted these rows of carrots last night and I wanted to show you how moist the soil stays underneath these boards. It was a totally sunny day today without any rain and you can see how the soil has held in the moisture. We have a nearly 100% germination rate on these carrot seeds here. This is because we use the board method. So the board helps the soil retain moisture, which is essential for germination. These carrot seeds are so shallow, they're barely a quarter of an inch deep and this top layer of soil dries out so quickly it's hard to keep them properly watered. The other thing the board does is it helps hold these tiny seeds in place. One rainfall and the seeds can float away and you will not end up with a nice row of carrots. So we check for germination every day after a few days and as soon as these started to germinate, we removed the boards so that they can receive sunlight and grow. Once the seedlings are established, it's a lot easier to keep them watered. We don't have to worry about tiny seeds floating away. So, given that it's August and it's still hot, we're just going to make sure we keep the soil nice and moist for them, but not too soggy. And hopefully we'll have a good harvest this fall into winter. We're continuing with our fall crop planting and this bed used to have potatoes in it. We're going to plant broccoli in it right now. This is my chart that I use to keep track of our crop rotation. I draw it out every year. I like the old school way. We're going to be planting bell star broccoli in this bed. We planted this in the spring and had a really good harvest, so we're going to try it again for the fall. It's heat tolerant, but it's also frost tolerant, and it should be mature in 65 to 70 days. In our 4x8 raised bed, we just added compost, and we're going to do three rows of broccoli. So I just kind of mark it down the middle. And we plant ours about 18 inches apart. The rows are about 18 inches apart. The plants we plant about a foot apart. I just lay a T-square down just to help me mark where the plants are going to go for the first row. And then I just eyeball it for the following rows. Drop one seed every 12 inches. We're just going to keep a close eye on these seeds that we just planted because it is August and it's still pretty hot and we can have some dry spells. So we're just going to make sure that the soil never fully dries out. We're going to do our best to keep it moist and watch closely for germination. So in 65 to 70, or I would say more like probably 80 to 90, give or take a couple of weeks because the days are going to be shorter. Hopefully we're going to be harvesting broccoli in the fall. Compost is added and we're planting our third bed of broccoli here for the fall. We're planting Covina broccoli in this bed. 
we have a trellis still set up with cucumbers that are growing just fine so we're gonna let these plants go until they're done but the broccoli will grow just fine alongside the cucumber plants until they are done so we have fresh compost added to the bed and we're ready to plant so we're going to do three rows here just like the other two beds we just harvested corn from this bed and we're following it with broccoli harvested corn out of this bed also and we're going to follow up with parsnips. We're going to do four rows of parsnips in our four by eight bed and we're going to plant the seeds six inches apart. only been about a week and a half so I'm not expecting any germination yet they usually take two to three weeks so we have to be really patient with parsnips but it's also hard to tell the difference between a tiny little parsnip seedling and weeds so we'll just keep a close eye on them and keep the soil damp and hope for the best we just removed our Roma tomato plants and now we're going to be planting a fall crop of beets. We plant early wonder tall top beets. The greens are nice and tall after about 20 days. Um, after 45 days there are baby beets but we like to leave them in for another 20 days or so because the three inch beets are gorgeous and delicious. So anyways let's get planting these beets. We have four rows in our four by eight raised bed about I'd say about a foot apart and we're going to plant the seeds three inches apart. I actually hear some thunder in the background but I think it's probably about 20 miles south of us. bed of beets planted and I think we're gonna have to water them in because even though the sky is beautiful and we can hear thunder it looks like it's going to rain it's not going to rain judging by the radar Yes, it is. It's going to take the bag off that. 